Hello, hello. Hello, Gloria. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Good hey, Oscar. Good evening. Jose. Welcome, Jose. Welcome, Mirna. Welcome, Good evening, Mirna. teacher. Sorry to be two minutes late. Perdón por estar dos minutos tarde, pero tuve un problemita ahí con la otra clase. Okay? But thanks God, I am here with you. I'm here with you. Welcome, Patricia. Welcome, Roxana. Welcome, everybody. Okay, so now we're going to start with the review. With the review, right? Just give me a second. I will open the platform for you. Okay, here is open, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now, this is the knowledge check, right? But before to go to the knowledge check, we're going to watch the video. Again, we're going to make a review of the models can, could, and may, right? So let's watch the video. Okay, sorry. So, can you hear? Se escucha? Sorry, you cannot. You cannot listen, right? No se escucha. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, wait, 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 wait. El video wait, no se escuchaba. Yes, yes. Video. Oh. Question. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm sorry, class. It's my mistake. Don't worry. Everyone, this time it will be introduced. Now, can you can you listen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes. Follow verbs: can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs: can, could, may for requests, suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In this case, can, could, and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. This is how we use them. Model verb plus subject plus verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using each modal verb learned. Please write them in our discussion box. Okay. Now, uh, let's see what are the the suggestions, the commentary, right? Uh, we have some commentaries of Roxana Mendez here. Uh, commentaries of G Gio, Giovanni. Let me maximize the, the screen. Maximize the screen. Okay, good. So, could I have multivitamins? Can I have aspirin? Can I use ointment at night? Good, that's okay. That's nice. Giovanni says, can I learn and speak English in six months? Okay, God first. <laughs> okay, primero Dios. <laughs> okay, Giovanni. Humor, right? Un poquito de humor aquí. Okay. Can I learn and speak English in six months? Aquí nos faltó la S, right? The S. And then the question mark. Okay, may I help you? 
in the homework, in the English homework, right? In the English homework. Eh, Giovanni, ahí primero va el adjetivo, entonces sería English homework. May I help you in the English homework? That's okay. Now, Karen says, can I have a trip to Cancun? Can I have immunity to coronavirus? <laughs> I hope, right? The Russians maybe have the solution, right? Los rusos dijeron que ya tienen la solución. Ojalá que así sea, right? Okay. May I climb a mountain? Mountain? Yes, that's okay. Good. And the last commentary. What do you suggest? Could I have something for the flu? Or for the flu, right? May I have something for fever? Or is better to say for a fever? And can I have ointment? Because ointment is uncountable. Como el ungüento no es contable, solo vamos a decir can I have ointment, right? Le eliminamos el artículo an, porque este es solo para contables, okay? Good. So thank you for your commentaries. Thank you for your commentaries. And you can add more posts, right? You can add more posts. You can, the discussion is open. So all your commentaries are good, right? Now, let's just start with the knowledge check, right? Let me see this. Okay. Uh, here is related with uh, the model, right? The model. In some cases, you can use can or could, right? Can or could. Mm -hmm. For example, in this case, number one. Can, can I help you? Can I help you or? May I help you, teacher? That's okay. Or could, could I help you, right? Okay. The three are acceptable in this case. Uh, and then here, we have other verb, right? We have other verb. Let me see. Try, suggest, should, right? Let me explain something, right? We have to use can, could, and may for requests. Esos modos los vamos a usar para los requests, para pedir algo, para solicitar algo. Request, can, could, and may. And have, try, suggest, and should are used for recommendations, right? Recommendations. Usted le pregunta algo, doctor. Usando can, could, and may. Y él le responde usando have, try, suggest, or should. Okay? Good. And then it, it says, yes, I have something for each, each eyes. So in this case, is a, a question, right? A petition. So we can use could, can, or, or may. And then... It says, sure, I, aha, uh -huh. this is a suggestion. So in this suggestion, we're going to say, I have, I try, I suggest, or I should. Okay, una de estas vamos a usar aquí. No se lo puedo decir porque lo tienen que hacer ustedes, okay? Okay, then, what do you, uh, okay, aquí está haciendo una pregunta, Esto, quiere una sugerencia. Entonces, again, have. Try, suggest, or should. Cualquiera de estas puede ser, okay? Next one. You. Ah, okay, again. This is a suggestion. Aquí le estamos dando una sugerencia porque use un guento, right? So, again. Sería una de estas cuatro. Have, try, suggest, or should. Okay? So, the first thing you have to distinguish is when is a request? And when is a suggestion, right? Okay. And let me see. Uh, this is uh, a question, right? Uh -huh. What do you? Hmm, what do you try? What do you have? What do you suggest? For insomnia. And here we have a verb too, right? Some of these herbal tea. Again, because it's a suggestion, we say have, try, suggest, or should, right? Okay. Question. Did all of you finish 
¿Ya terminaron todo este ejercicio o aún hay algunos que no lo han terminado? Liz. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. No, yo lo terminé. Yo no lo he no, terminado. No, no yet. Okay. He estado teniendo problemas para ingresar al, 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 oh, sorry, a la plataforma. But Entonces, is... no, eh, ni siquiera en, en vacaciones no pude ingresar a hacer nada. And this is because of your internet, Alan. No, uh, oh, no, I think that it's about, uh, about the, the software of the platform. Ah, uh, ok. Yo, so, Alan, or, yo ahora or... tuve, tenía problema, pero me tiraba una página donde pedía el correo y solo le puse el correo, mi correo, y ahí se, se activó otra vez. Ok. Uh, uh, eh, Alan, I have tried, uh, I have tried with my user and my password, but that, it doesn't work. I don't know why. Ok, again, right? Remember we have the... The, the guys in, in, in the administration that can help you, right? Uh, Jason, Jonathan, and Oscar. They can help you with uh, this situation, Alan. Uh, last time they sent a message to the, to the WhatsApp group, right? Enviaron ellos un mensaje al, al grupo de WhatsApp con sus números telefónicos. Alan, do you have the, their telephone numbers? ¿Tiene los yes, I will, yes, I will write, it. I, I will write the, the, their voices tomorrow. Okay, good. Please. Because remember for tomorrow is necessary we complete the exam, right? The midterm exam. Tenemos que completar el examen de, de medio curso. The midterm for tomorrow, right? Okay. okay. So is, I need, please, Alan, that you connect to the platform. It's very necessary, right? Okay, so I won't give the, the, the answer because some of you didn't finish. Como aún no, aún no han terminado algunos, todavía no les voy a dar la, 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 el ejercicio, perdón, no han terminado el ejercicio algunos. Uh, I won't give you the answer. No les voy a dar la respuesta porque si no, pues, verdad, tenemos problemas. Ok. Eh, and tomorrow we're going to check the test, I repeat. So please don't miss the class tomorrow. Eh, terminen el examen y mañana lo vamos a revisar juntos. We're going to check it together, right? But... Uh, please, I need you finish and connect to the class for tomorrow, please. Okay, now, uh, okay. do you have any extra question for section two? Any extra question for section two? No, okay. No, We can start with section three now, right? This is the class for today. Section number three. And... For this, I will share the power presentation, right? The power presentation. Um, give me a second here. I will open this. And this. Okay. Now let's share. Good. The sound is okay. Good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the today's class. Today we're going to uh, start with a conversation, right? It's about dinner, food, mm, delicious. Going out for dinner, that's the name of the conversation. We're also going to see a video, and the video is about the word so, to, neither, and neither, right? These expressions are used when you agree with a person, right? When you agree. The opposite of agree is disagree. So you say, no. For example, if I say, I like, I like uh, hamburgers, for example. You disagree, you say, uh, no, I don't like hamburgers. Right? But if you agree with me, you say, I like hamburgers. So do me I. Huh? Oh, me too. <laughs> okay, so this is, uh, words we use to agree with people, right? With a, to agree. And an exercise of pronunciation. Okay, that's it, right? For today. Now, let's start with the vocabulary. Oh, sorry, with the lesson objective, right? Excuse me. And uh, Felipe, can you help me reading, please? The objective, please. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people deciding where to go for dinner. 
words such as so, to, neither, and either will be introduced. That's okay. Thank you very much. So, in other words, we're going to see this vocabulary. And the vocabulary for today is the next class. So, to, neither, and either. Go out. This vocabulary is in the conversation, right? Terrific. Desert. No desert, because desert is Sahara desert, right? This is desert. In the mood. Desert. Can stand. Healthy. Greasy. Salty. Rich, spicy, delicious, and bland. Oops, sorry. Here, right? Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, now, let's practice pronunciation, right? Let's practice pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. So, to, neither, either. Go out, terrific, desert, in the mood, can stand, healthy, greasy, salty, rich, spicy, delicious. Plan. Okay, so this is the vocabulary for today class. I have a message here. Let me check the message. Uh, ah, okay. It says, eh, Giovanni, no me escucha. Um, please, uh, the rest of you can hear me. Los demás me pueden escuchar, chicos, esta, esta noche. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. Gio, I can hear you. Giovanni, now, ahora sí ya me escucha, Giovanni. Giovanni. Hello. Hello, Giovanni. Ok. Espero que me esté escuchando, Giovanni. Si no, pues eh, con el micrófono eh, creo que tiene problemas también, ¿verdad? Uh, si no, después vamos a hacer que Giovanni escuche la, la, la clase por, por la plataforma. Ok. Good. Now, let's continue, please. Now, uh, do you have any question about this vocabulary class? Any question? What is the meaning of bland, teacher? Bland, it's, it's the opposite of hard. For example, um, a, a stone is hard, right? And, yes. and, and bread, bread is bland. Uh, okay. It refers to food, okay? Bland is, for example, uh, bread. Mm -hmm. Yes? The meaning of? Excuse me, re did you read? Dessert. Ah, yes. Is when you finish your food. Postre. Uh huh. Yes. When you finish your food, you have a, a ice cream or, or or an apple pie or you know. This is the, the okay. something you have after the the, the food, right? And greasy. 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 Well, greasy. Food, greasy. Huh? Is the food that has a lot of grease, uh, like for example mm -hmm. the 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 beef. Ooh, the, the the beef is greasy, right? Uh, the, Grasoso. Yes, that's it. The pata soup, right? <laughs> so pat patas. Uh, okay. it's, it's really greasy, right? In the mood. Ah, in the well, mood. It, in the well, mood is when you have a, a specific uh, attitude for something. Uh, like you say, tengo ganas o no tengo ganas, right? Uh, but this is not because you don't like it. Okay. It means when you want to do something in a specific moment. For example, right now, I am in the mood for pupusas, right? Uh, ah. And I am not in the mood for pizza. And then you say, teacher, you don't like pizza. Yes, I like pizza. But in this moment, in this specific moment, I am not in the mood for pizza. Okay? In other words, means, en este momento what? yo quiero esto. Okay? Um. Estoy con ganas, estoy con... Es como que, ajá, tengo ganas de esto. Ah, that's correct, that's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the mood. Okay, another word, please. Yeah, and and rich. Either, either. Either, okay. either, sí. either is a, an expression we use uh, when we agree with another person and the sentence is negative. 
For example, if I say, I don't like broccoli, and then you say, eh, I, eh, you can say, I don't like it either, right? Or me either. In other words, means tampoco, right? In this context. Okay? Mm. Uh, and neither? And neither is the same, but you say it a different way. Neither do I. I Yo don't también. either? Uh, no, no, no. Yo no. tampoco. <laughs> Yo tampoco. It's not the same. It's not the same because the sentence is negative, right? We're going to see many examples. Vamos a ver muchos okay. ejemplos ahora, pero se lo voy a... Lo, lo vamos a introducir, right? I right. don't like broccoli. Neither do I. I... Oh, I tanto. don't either. I don't either. What does it mean? That you agree with the person. You agree. And you say, a mí tampoco. Me gusta. Okay? Okay, good. Now, the last question. And then we continue. No more questions? No. Okay. So this is the vocabulary for today. And we're going to check the conversation, right? We're going to see the conversation. Let me see. Okay. That's it. Conversation in the platform, ladies and gentlemen, here, right? Conversation. Go uh, going out, sorry, for dinner. Hi, welcome to another section. This time we will teach you words of agreements. Please copy the following words in your notes. So, to, neither, either. Listen and practice. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Did you notice how they use either and to in the dialogue? Excellent. Now what I want you to do is to practice the conversation with a friend. Okay, now we're going to practice the conversation. Uh, I, I guess one microphone is open. Por ahí tengo un micrófono encendido. Please help me. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, now. Give me a second here. We're going to practice the conversation. Say, again. would you either listen and practice? Okay, listen and repeat, please. Ready? Here we go. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Come on, repeat. Sure. Where do you want to go? Now again, repeat. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. I love it. But I'm not really. In the mood for it today. But I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. 
I guess. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. It's a bit spicy. Spicy. It's a bit spicy. Hmm. Hmm. No difficult to pronounce, right? <laughs> okay. How do you like Japanese food? How do you... Sorry, repeat. Okay, now again, repeat. How do you like Japanese food? How do you like Japanese food? How do you like Japanese food? Oh. Oh. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I do too. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, sorry, Iroha, I guess. Well, Japanese, sorry. It's called Iroha, but listen to the audio, excuse me. It's called Iroha. Oh, yes. Iroha. <laughs> Why <Wayoko Zaiman. laughs> Okay, now. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Oh, I always wanted to go there. I've, I've, I've always, I always wanted, I've always wanted to go there. You can say wanted or wanted. Wanted, wanted. Now again, repeat please. I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Terrific. Let's go. Oops. Let's go, right? Okay, now. Uh, let's practice the last time, but uh, I, need, I need to know if you have questions. Do you have questions, class? No questions? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Yes, yes. No questions. Yes. No question, teacher. No question. Okay, let's practice together. Come on. Uh, let me see. I will practice with some of you. Uh, let me see. Gloria Palma, please. Gloria, can you help me, Gloria? Yes, teacher. Yes. I am going to be Jeff, and Gloria, you're going to be Bob, right? Okay. Now, come on, say. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Okay, thank you. Now another helper, please. Uh, Yvette. Yvette, can you help me, Yvette? Yes, teacher. Okay, you are going to be Jeff, and I'm going to be Bob, right? Now, ready? 
Hey, would you like to go out dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I know either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it. A, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know, I, I'm sorry, and I know a nice Japanese restaurant in here. It's called Airoha. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Good. Now, okay. uh, Jose Perez and let me see. And Alan. Jose and Alan, please. Can you help me with the Jeff and Bob, please? Uh, yes. Uh, Alan, you're going yes, to be teacher, Jeff. Yes, teacher. I am here. Okay. Jose Perez, right? Thank you, Jose. Now, and, I and am Jose, Jeff, right? you're going to be. Yes, yes, Jeff. Yes. Come on, let's do it. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, you would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure, where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? Uh, I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I am not either. I guess it's a bit spice, spicy. Mm. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Terrific with that conversation, guys. You did it very well. Thank you to everybody for your cooperation. Come on. Now, let's go to the, to the second part of the class, right? And in this case, I'm going to to continue with the with the PowerPoint presentation. Just give me a second, please, over here. Okay, I got it. Here. Okay, so the, the second uh, objective for tonight, right? And let me see who's going to help me Who's going to help me? Uh, give me a second. Angel, please, Angel, can you read the, the objective for tonight, Angel? Angel? Hello, Angel. Okay. So, um, Jose Magaña, please. Jose, can you read the, the objective for today? Maybe the microphone, Angel, is not working, right? Okay. Don't worry. Uh, now, Jose. Okay. Jose Magaña, please. In okay. This class, mm -hmm. Okay. In in this in this class, participant. La última palabra no la veo. Uh, will. Uh, you cannot see it. Will. 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 Right. Will. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, Jose, uh, your, your computer, your cell phone que no, is, is not totally open. Uh, ¿Por qué será que no puede ver esta parte, Jose? Sale a la mitad su pantalla. I don't know. No, no. I don't know. Ah, ok, no. ahorita. Ah, ok, good. Ok, ahorita. Ok, in this class, participants will understand the use of so. To, neither, and neither. With this word, participants may express agreement and or disagreement. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue with this, right? I have a lot of material today. So, to, neither, and neither. 
And this is the example, right? When do you use neither and when you use either? I guess it's the, in the, the first we have the negative and then we have the positive. Okay. When the sentence is negative and you want to agree, listen, this is very important. I agree. Quiero estar de acuerdo. Quiero opinar igual que la otra persona, right? If the other person say blue, I say blue. If the other person say hot, I say hot. If the other person say Barcelona, I say Barcelona, right? Okay. Good. So in this case, the person say, I don't speak English. Okay. So, and then you say, ah, I don't speak English. But in this case, tampoco, tampoco yo hablo. So in this case, you use this structure. Neither do I. Or another option is, I don't either. So in this context, neither or either are the same. Hmm? The same, lo mismo. Bless you, Danny. Bless you. Okay. Yes, teacher, neither do I just <laughs> positive. No, no, it's negative. But negative with negative. I mean, the person says something negative and I say, estoy de acuerdo con esa cosa negativa que tú dices. Okay. Ah, o sea, o sea, cuando digo neither do I, es decir, estoy de acuerdo. Estoy de acuerdo. Estoy de acuerdo ah. en que a ti no te guste. Okay. Ah. Porque tú no lo hables. So, uh, in other words, listen, I don't speak English. It says, neither do I. Yo tampoco. Or I ah, don't. Okay. Yo tampoco, right? Ah, yes. But be careful because it's not the same to say, yo tampoco, that to say, yo también, right? Let's go to another example. This is with the simple present. I don't speak. Simple present. Now let's go. To I'm, I'm a little confused, teacher, because it's it's maybe the same because neither I do or not, and I don't either. It's the same. So, it's the same. It's the same. You can say neither do I or I don't either. And in informal English, in informal, you say me either. Simple. Me either. <laughs> me either. Simple. Me either, right? But this is the, you know, the 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 structure, the, the grammar structure that we need to understand, right? Okay, ne neither is when you agree with the conversation of uh -huh. one people. Neither, and either, I, so and two. The four, the four words are agree, the four, right? Okay. okay. Good. Uh, Gloria, any commentary, Gloria? Yes, teacher. Uh, no se puede responder entonces me too, word. No, yes, you can. You can, but uh, strictly in the grammar, it's not possible. I mean, but everybody has it in all the languages. Todos los lenguajes son así. In, uh, even in Spanish, right? Mm. Aún en español, nosotros hablamos no con la gramática exacta, right? Uh, mm. For example, some people, instead of say voy a ir, some people say voy ir, right? Or, or, or sometimes in El Salvador, for example, only in El Salvador, uh, instead of saying, ya me voy, we say, ya vengo, right? We say the opposite, ya vengo. And then you go, right? But mm. the correct one is, ya me voy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the same happened in English, you know, they have a slang, they have idioms. So mm. the language is not pure, el lenguaje no es puro, right? But it's necessary okay. we understand the correct way to speak, right? You don't speak English. Okay. No, you do. You speak. <laughs> okay, let's continue with the next example, right? Now, I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Notice that in the first example, we use the auxiliary do. Or it could be does. For example, we say, she doesn't speak English. Neither does he. Uh -huh. So you can use do or you can use does. And in the other example is the verb to be. Am I? Or I'm not. Okay? Let's continue. What happened if the sentence Peter, is... Peter, yes, please. Um, neither always in first and either always and uh, finally. Excellent. Very good. Correct. Neither is at the beginning and either is at the, is at the end, right? But Danny, okay. the two sentences are the same. If you want to say neither, no problem. If you want to say either, no problem, right? It's the same. Okay, Perfect. now, 
Thank you, Thank you for your collaboration. Uh -huh, Lizette. In in other contexts, uh, these these words uh, have means have different means. Mm, yes, in other context, yes, yes. For example, two, and so sometimes they have different. But in this case, the context is said is let's focus on this, right? That you are going no, to. But but my question person. is about neither and neither. Ah, neither and neither. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. No. Neither. Uh, no, I guess not. I suppose no. not, Lisa. I'm okay. not totally. As far as I know, only in this context, right? Okay. Hasta donde yo sé, okay. solo aquí. Pero déjeme okay. investigar también, porque siempre hay algunas excepciones por ahí. There are some exceptions. Okay. Okay. I'm Thank not 100% sure, but I will investigate for you. But as far as I know, only here. But so and two, yes, you can use them in other contexts, right? Yes, yes. Okay, now let's go okay, to so and two. He likes going to cinema. Simple present, affirmative. So when he's simple present and affirmative, so you're going to say, so do I. Or I do too. Like neither and neither. So is used at the beginning, right? And two is used at the end, like Danny says, right? At the beginning and at the end. Okay, and you use the auxiliary do, do, right? Why? Because the sentence is with simple present, right? Sorry. Now, I can eat spicy food. Can. So can I. Or I can too. In this case, you are using the model can. Huh? So when you say so and you say to, you say can. So can I. I can too. Okay. Repeating. Neither and neither are for negative statements. So and to are for affirmative statements. Okay? Neither and either can be used in the same form, but neither is at the beginning and neither is at the end. So and do can use the same, right? Si quieren usar el so, usen el so. Si quieren usar el to, usen el to. So do I, I do too. And so is at the beginning and two is at the end, right? Now we're going to see uh, more examples in another context, right? Let's just start talking about the simple present. How do you use so, to, neither and neither in simple present? For example, the sentence, I like pizza is simple present, right? I like pizza, so do I. Hmm? Imagine I have she likes pizza, and then the person here is a he. She likes pizza, so he does. Sorry, so does he. So does he, right? So you can use do or you can use does because it's the simple present, okay? Good. Or you can say, I do too. I like pizza, so, so do I. I like pizza, I do too. Okay, now, when, it, when it's negative, I don't like pizza, neither do I, or I don't either. This is with the simple present, right? The contraction. Uh-huh. You can use the contraction don't. That means do not, do not, don't, right? This is affirmative, this is negative. With affirmative, I use so and to, and with negative, I use neither and neither, right? Now let's go with the verb to be. I am a student, affirmative, right? Verb to be, so am I. I am too, okay? In this, in negative, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. So? I am, not, I am a doctor. Neither. It's with the verb to be, right? <laughs> neither am I. I. Or, neither I'm not I. either. There. I'm not either. Okay, we can yes. change it. For example, we can say, she's not a doctor. And then, neither am I. Neither is Pedro, or neither is Maria, right? <laughs> okay, we can change it, no problem. Okay, but the most common is the person says something, and you agree with the person. Lo más común es que alguien diga algo, y yo estoy de acuerdo con lo que esa persona diga. Okay. Si la persona mm -hmm. dice negativo, yo también digo negativo. Si la persona dice afirmativo, yo digo también afirmativo, ¿ok? 
Now let's go with that, with another example, right? With another example. Uh, using the simple past, for example, right? I went to the park. When is in the past, right? What auxiliary do we use for the past, Patricia? What auxiliary we use for the past? Simple past. I was. No, that's the, that's the verb to be. Oh. But the simple past. Do, does, did. or did? Did, did, correct, did. So we are going to use did in this case. I went to the park, so did I. Hey, yo fui al parque, eh? yo también, okay. So did I, or oh, I did too. Now in negative, I didn't go to the park. Neither did I, or oh, I didn't either, right? Okay, now with can. Affirmative, I can speak English, so can I, or oh, I can too. In negative, I can speak English, neither can I, I can either. Can we use the verb, the verb to be in the past, was and where? Yes, I was in the park, so was I, I was too. Can I use a uh, will? I will go to the park. So will I. I will too. Right? Or in negative, in future, I won't go to the park. Neither will I. Or I won't either. I won't either. Huh? So we can use all the auxiliary, simple present, simple past, can, uh, would, you can use would. I, I would like to eat pizza. So would I, huh? et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, uh, it's time to, to make an exercise, right? And then you're going to help me here, right? You're going to help me, but uh, let's say the first sentence, right? I get really tired on Saturdays. Uh, Alan, the sentence is what? Simple present, simple past, a future with will. What is the structure of the sentence, Alan? ¿Qué estructura tiene la oración, Alan? I get really tired on Saturdays. Like you say in, in Spanish, ¿en qué tiempo está la oración, right? Alan? Can you hear me, Alan? Hello, hello. Okay, so Angel Martinez, please. Angel. Hello. Hello. Okay, hello, Angel. In what time, time or in what tense is the sentence? ¿En qué tiempo está la oración número uno? What is the tense? I will give you three options. Past, present, or future. Past, past. Sorry, Angel, I can hear you. Angel. No, 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 that's okay. Uh, Patricia, right? Don't worry. I will ask you too, Patricia. Usted también le va a preguntar, okay? Don't worry. Okay, Angel, uh, es que casi no le escucho. Angel. Past, present, or future. Okay, Angel. Okay, okay. Not if the present continues. Um, past. No, no, no. Ok, Patricia, please. Ahora sí nos va a ayudar Patricia. Patricia, number one, is in present, past, or future? Past. No. Danny. Danny, yes. Present, I get. I get, it's in present. Present continue. No, 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 it's not present continue. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's not present. Why not even for the only well, um, No, it's because in this case it's Danny. Saturdays? Wait, 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 Danny. It's present continuous is I am getting. I uh, am getting. That's the present continuous. Present continuous in this case is simple present. Right? Now. Yes. Uh, or something you do like a routine, Danny. Routine. Oh. 
una rutina es que yo me canso los sábados, right? Ok, and then the sentence is, so do I. Yo también. Ok, number two. Number two, Danny, is present continuous. Ahí sí es present continuous, right? Yes. I'm not going out. I'm not going out. Ok? So, neither am I. Ok, now, number three. Number I'm not three. going out tonight. Oh, I like it. <laughs> okay, I watched TV last night. Yes. What is the tense? ¿En qué tiempo está la oración? Past. 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 So what auxiliar we use? Did, right? I watched yes. TV last night. Uh, Yvette, please. Um, ¿Cuál sería la oración? I watched TV last night. I did too. I did too. Oh, so did I. So did I. Oh, so I. I did too. Excellent. Number four, please. I, I won't be able. Ah, won't is future, right? It's futuro. Okay, eh, Alan, que ahora sí me puede escuchar, Alan. 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 Quizás ya se desconectó, Alan. Okay. Um, eh, Felipe. Help me, Felipe. Yes, the sentence is in future, right? I won't, and it's negative. I won't. What I is... won't. Mm -hmm. It's future. I won't. Be able to come to class next week. Uh -huh. So what is this, the, the agree? Si queremos estar de acuerdo con, con él, ¿qué vamos a decir? Um, it's negative. It's negative. Remember. Negative. Uh -huh. ne neither will I. Neither will I. Or neither. I won't either. I won't either. Correct. Excellent. I live in Nagano. Simple present, right? Simple present. <coughs> uh, Jose Perez, can you help me, Jose? So do I. So do I. I say Alan. Jose, so do I. Oh, I do too. I do too, right? Okay. Uh, por ahí escucho también la voz de Alan. No. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's, it's the, the important here is the participation, right? I would like to go to Kyoto in the summer. It's affirmative and I'm using good. Danny, help me, Danny. It's affirmative, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So I'm going yes. to use so or to. Come on. So do I. No, because I would. I would. I would like to go to Kyoto in the summer. Mm -hmm. And... I, I will. Uh huh. I would. I would too. I, I would, would too. too. Yes. Oh, so would I. So would I. So would I. Whew. Difficult, right? Okay. Now I can't play the violin. Uh, who's going to help me? Let me see. Um. I, I want to give participation to other students. Karen, Karen Melendez, please. I can't play the violin. It's negative, right, Karen? Yes. Yeah, uh, neither can I. Neither can I, excellent. Oh, I can't. I can't either. That's okay. I don't like I'm... air conditioners. Vamos a ver quién está por acá. Like eh, Betty Vázquez. Ah, Betty. Come on, Betty. <coughs> Can you hear me, Betty? Hello. Ok. Se nos desconectó Betty. Ok. Eh, Roxana Méndez. Roxana. Ajá, uh -huh. please repeat. I don't. Either. I don't either, only oh, there do I, right? 
Number nine, please. Lisset Ramirez. Lisset Ramirez. Lisset. Um, I don't feel cold in the winter, right? Mm -hmm. I, um, I don't either. Uh-huh. I don't either or neither do I. Well, number I 10. Don't. Number 10. Janira Garcia. Janira Garcia. I can't, Nato. I can't stand Nato. What, what is can Nato? No, I don't know. Maybe it's a, it's a, it's a place. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or oh, it's food. I don't know. But it's, I can't stand it. Me cae mal. Odio. Odio nato, no sé qué será, pero la persona lo odio. <laughs> okay. I can't stand. Me cae mal, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh, come on. What is the answer? I can't either. I can't either. <laughs> I do too. No, 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 because it's negative. Okay, Saraí. 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 I don't. Me... I don't... No, 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 no. Saraí, please. Saraí. Um, neither, neither can I. Neither can I. Very good. Uh, Janet Morales. Janet, I am looking for, oh, look at this. is very romantic. I am looking for love. Uh -huh. I am looking for love. Uh -huh. uh, I'm... <laughs> I am. I'm, I am either. No, 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 no. It's affirmative. Jan, Jan. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's I don't know. So or two. So, so or two. So, so, uh -huh. do, so do I. So am I. Because it's better to be. So am, so I. am I. So, so am, I. am I. Yes. Okay, listen. I'm going to watch the video in five minutes. In five minutes, right? Because we waste all the time in... Uh, in in the in these examples but i want you to see the video please let me see here right mm -hmm. and after the video we finish the class terrific let's go wait 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 a minute did you notice how they use either and wait. two in the dialogue excellent now what i want you to do is to practice the conversation with a friend Okay, that's the conversation. Now we're going to see the video, right? Going out here, right? Okay, pay attention, please. Can I? I can't either. After the video, oh, we, we finish the class. But Did you I need copy to... the agreement words? Very good. Pay attention. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we'll walk you through the use of so, too, neither, either, and more examples. So, too, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. Two. 
The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So, auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. Okay, any question? The topic is difficult, but uh, what you need to do is to to check the to check the video, right? Okay? And I'll make a little review. Just one minute, please. Uh, so, and two are to agree for affirmative sentence. Si yo quiero estar de acuerdo con otra persona y la oración es afirmativa, I use so and to. So va al principio y to va al final. Ok? Uh -huh. And uh, de acuerdo a la estructura de la oración, si la oración es en presente, digo so do I. O eh, si la oración va con el verbo to be, ok, I am a student, for example, so am I, o I am too. ¿eh? Uh -huh. Ok, y luego las palabras neither and neither, is when the other person says something in negative, I don't, I can, I am not, eh, I won't, I wouldn't, etcétera, etcétera. Siempre que la oración esté en negativo y yo quiero estar de acuerdo con la persona, voy a usar neither and either, right? Neither es al principio y neither es al final. Y siempre vamos a estar de acuerdo si la oración es en pasado, en presente, con el verbo to be, con can, etcétera, etcétera. De la misma forma vamos a usar el auxiliar cuando respondemos, ¿ok? Good. Any extra question? Any extra question? No question? Okay. For okay. tomorrow, we're going to check the midterm. La mitad de la, de la clase para mañana es para right. revisar el examen. Así que todos tienen que terminar, ya sea esta noche o mañana, el examen. Please. Para que así ya podamos revisarlo juntos. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much. You. Have a good night. Thank you. Eh, para su mayor comprensión voy a tratar de enviarles el... el al PowerPoint, al grupo de WhatsApp, para que repasen más este tema, porque está un poquito complicadito, ¿verdad? Oh, confuso, okay. más que todo. Yes, pero repasando, viendo el video, también este video, esta clase mañana, lo van a terminar de entender, ¿ok? Ojalá. Ok. God bless you. Bye bye. Have a good night. Good night. Okay. Okay. God bless you. you too. Bye.